Welcome back to Real Extreme Fishing. Today we're down here at the creek. We're gonna be fishing for some native brown trout. Here's what we're gonna throw at them guys. This is a one inch Nico wax worm. I've used these lures in the past for perch, different types of panfish, they did very well. It's the first time I'm gonna be fishing with them for natives. So we're gonna give it a shot guys. So stay tuned. Okay guys, here's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using my Ugly Stick GX2, small little ultra light rod. Normally I would, I would throw a 164 ounce jig head on these, but creek's very high today. So I got a 132 tungsten jig head with a little wax worm there. So we're going to give this a shot. I'm going to walk down the creek here. This is one of my spots. See if we can get on some trout. Sometimes they hang around here, so that's why I'm kind of trying to be quiet. I'm going to run through that little waterfall over there. Alright, guys. Got one, guys. First brownie of the day. Right in that little pocket right over there. There he is. Put our hands. Wow, that water is freezing. There is, guys. There's fish number one right there. First native of the day. There he goes. Once we know the wax worms work, right? It's perfect areas for trout to hang out. Fast moving water to like a little pool here. That's what you want to look for. Right there. Well, I wasn't recording, guys. Just caught another nice one here. There is. Nice brownie here. About 12, 13 inches. Let him go. 
There he goes. Yep. Number two. Sorry about that. I thought I was recording, but but I looked down before I released that fish to make sure that I was. But it's a nice fight too. Two pound line here. So I have the drag set pretty loose. Number two though on the wax worm. I've never fished with trout with this lure. Figured it would work. What's great about these lures, anything that Nico makes is they're pretty much indestructible. They got that latex, I'll show you. I'm not latex, but the st stretchy plastic. You can't tell now because let me take it off and show you. But the real soft, almost gooey. You see guys? See how they just they go right back. So the only time you really have to replace these is when you lose them. You get snagged on something. But I caught two fish on this one and it looks like it did when I first put it on, so. For bass, I like to use the Helgramites, they work well too. But yeah, Nico, they make all different types of baits, so. I'm a fan of them. What I like about them, too, when you order something from them, you usually get it within two days, two or three days, just almost like Amazon, which is pretty cool. They ship extremely fast. There's one. Nice one again. Oh, nice jump. Two jumps. Wow, he's going crazy. Got him, guys. Yeah. And we're recording, how about that? There he is, guys. Such a beautiful fish here. Number three. Second fish in this hole. Let him go. See you, buddy. There's one. You just not want to come in the net. Can't tell how he's hooked. All right, got him, guys. Whew. Yeah, it looks like my camera's facing down, so I don't even know if I got that. If not, I'm sorry. There he is. Look at that hook fell right out of his mouth. Not a bad one. See you, pal. I threw it like right up in here. Right where this current comes around here. In this pool where there's not much current at all, that's where he was. That's where I've been throwing all morning long here.
There's one. Another trout, guys. I think he's wrapped up in the line here. Come here, dude. And we got him. Another nice one here. Oh, he doesn't want to come out. It's okay, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. It's a nice one there, guys. About 14, 15 there. There he goes. Set number six, seven. Well on one waxworm. <laughs>